Okay. Hey, Mike. How are you? I am. Uh, I made a quick video to show you, <clears throat> more or less, an example of how we could accomplish what we what we discussed over text real quick. This is a little bit different than what we had previously discussed. I think what we discussed before was um, using Elevator. And I've used Elevator in the past for an F-15. I think that works well when you have an actual wing with ailerons and, and you know flaps. Flaps, I guess, don't matter. But at least it has ailerons where you're mixing in some aileron in with your elevators, right? So the elevators are functioning as an aileron um, to a certain degree, but you still have ailerons. What I've done here is backwards. What I've done here is um, I created a model type of a flying wing, which I think is what, what you have, where it has two ailerons and a rudder, but no elevators. So in this scenario, what we're doing is we're saying, okay, I've got a model that has two ailerons, but I also want the ailerons to function as an elevator, okay? Um, so that's what I did. So if we come up, come in here, and if we take a look at, sorry, model type, what I picked was a flying wing with two ailerons, ale and ale two. So pick this guy right there. And then it asks you, you know, what, what's your rudder requirement? Is it one rudder or two rudders? You could have winglets. So I don't know if you have two. I think based on our discussions, it's one rudder. So it would be this guy. So you got two ailerons and one rudder. Okay, so that, this is what I picked. Okay, it's already picked. I didn't make any changes, so it's not making any changes. Let's go back to the model. And what this provides is an ability for you to be able to, um, to come in here and, um, and literally get what you want, right? So if you look at... Um, you look at your monitor here if you give it right aileron you got ale and ale 2 left aileron you got ale and ale 2 and you give it up elevator you see channel 16 on the right under my thumb up elevator down elevator okay um, that I think is what you're looking for now let me show you where to set that up and I'll show you that the trim is working as well. Um, so if you come in here, and you go into um, Ella to Camber, okay? It has a screen here that gives you all of the 100% rate left and right for, um, I'm sorry, for up and down. Uh, and you could change this. I mean, you can come in here and, and set it to uh, Expo 1 if you want to add some Expo. But basically, this is where you turn it on. Um, you have a screen, page 2, where you can independently uh, break out the rate. So rate 1 would be, let's say, one servo. Rate 2 would be a second servo. Um, so if you were to um, like pull up or push... You could independently give it 100 or 70 or 80, depending on what you want the servos to do and from a standpoint of travel. Uh, so whether it's you know 20 millimeters, 22 millimeters, whatever, you can fine tune that here, okay? So let's, let's just go ahead and, um, and come back out. I wanna show you it functioning. Try to get close here so we can see stick movement as well as uh, servo movement. Let's get this back in the light here. Okay, so number one is let's test the aileron function because that is more or less what we're flying here, flying wing, right? So if we go right aileron, you see both servos are kind of traveling inward. So the right one's traveling left, the left one's traveling right. Left aileron they're traveling in opposite directions, so they're opening. The right one's going right, the left one's going left, right? So now let's look at trim, right? So if we go right, and they're kind of both going inwards, then we should expect trim to do the same thing. You see him moving? Okay. So if you go, now it's trim's all the way to the right, so you'll, you'll be able to see more movement here. 
So if you go left, they're opening, right? So let's, let's go ahead and go full left, and you'll see them open. You see them opening? We'll bring this trim back to... Zero. Okay, so now let's look at this from an elevator perspective. So if I pull up, they go left. If I push, they go right. So if I take the T2 trim and I pull up, they should go left, right? Okay, so that gives me what, 50? So now uh, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push up and go from 50 to, you know, I guess negative 50. But I'll do it here so you can see. And if you push up, they go to the right, right? So now that it's 50, it'll travel 100 points from the plus 50 to neg 50. You, they should, you should see the servos go to the right. Okay, so now we're at neg 50. You could probably set this on a condition, right? So I just put condition one, but you could put that on a switch, and have like a landing condition where you have independent trims for aileron and elevator per a servo based on takeoff, landing, or, or flight condition, right? Do you wanna show you something else in here? Um, if you look at, let's say page two, I, I mentioned it briefly before that you have independent um, throw per servo. So for example, if I were to pull up, um, let me just pick this guy right here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna hit reset right here, because right now it's at plus 100, right? So if I give it stick deflection, you see that they travel to what 100 equates to. If I go ahead and reset that, you see that one servo came back. So this is kind of important. Now it's set to zero, but if you push, it still has it still has ATV, right? So if I pull, the one on the left's not moving, but if I come back here and I set this to, you see it moving the servo? Back to 100. You get your throwback. That's important because you don't want to end up in a scenario where you're like statically set and you're having to change. I mean, I think you wanna set your geometry on the plane as close as possible, left and right, you know, control horns and uh, push rods so that when you, when you do have your radio set to 100 and 100, they're close. But this gives you the capability to be able to cut one back. Um, really have four different uh, deflection points. You know, you've got right aileron, left aileron for the right servo right aileron, left aileron for the left servo, and you've got up elevator, down elevator for the right servo, and you've got up elevator, left, ele excuse me, up elevator, down elevator for the left servo. Um, all independent of each other, so that you can fine tune exactly what your throws should be for your plane per condition, um, and have it set up, um, you know, dual rates and whatnot. So that's the way, that's a way to do it. Um, I thought about it a little bit more after, after you said what the problem was, trim, I said, well, maybe it should be a wing rather than elevators, right? Because the wing it needs to act as a flying wing with some supplemental function. Now, I'll, uh, I'll show you one more thing here since we're here. So I'm using channel two and channel 16. For elevator so it's actually channel channel 2 and channel 7 for ailerons for these two ailerons right so it's channel 2 and channel 7 but I'm also using channel 16 for elevator because you don't need an independent you don't need a, just a physical port for your elevator it's like a virtual function that's taking place the servo on the right has a physical channel, but it's being asked to perform two jobs, aileron and elevator. 
the channel, it could be one, two, three, four, five, whatever you want. Same goes for the servo on the left. The port is just a way for the receiver to know how to send a signal to each one of these two uh, servos. But in the radio, you're only gonna need one channel. It can be any channel. I use 16 here, um, and I think that's the default. It'll automatically go and pick 16. But um, I hope this helps and it doesn't confuse the matter. Um, I think you have it set up as elevator. I think it's possible to get that working also. Might be easy enough to take your current model and just do a copy of it and make it, you know, whatever you have it named, you know, 2.0, and then just change the model type and play around with it. I think this might solve your problem pretty quick, and it may be able to give you a couple options. If this is not the direction you want to go, we can play around with elevator. But I think this, this might be the simplest way to solve for it. Um, I'm going to try to upload this to YouTube because I can't send this via text. It's going to be too big. It's about 11 minutes. So um, I'll send you the link once it uploads. And I uh, hope you have a nice day today flying. Wish I was there. Take care.